What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing. This has been a long time coming. I teased this on Instagram like what feels like months ago now. Um, but it has to do with me being in the shop. I am uh, stuck at home today. Let me, let me just open the garage door and show you what we're working with today. That's right, it has been raining and thunderstorming. It's in the evening time right now, but it's been doing this all day long. Raining and thunderstorming, a lot of lightning. We're finally getting past that though. One of my favorite things to do though is when on days like this where I can't get out and I'm afforded the time to get in my shop and uh, try to organize. I mean, this is literally, I've already cleaned up a ton today, but this is literally typically what my shop looks like. I mean, I've got random baits. Like, look at this. I've got random just crap on the floor. There's a bait right there just laying out. I mean, just garbage everywhere. I've already put a bunch up. Like there's some mystery tackle boxes I've been working out of. I mean, I, I've just got stuff everywhere. And look how empty the bait wall looks because I haven't, I haven't taken anything out of the boxes because I've just been working out of them. But with the onboarding of Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Co. as one of my sponsors now, um, I've got a lot more baits and I need to clear out the wall over there, the bait wall. All of that stuff right there has to be organized and I'd really like for that area right there, that one right there, to be nothing but Catch Co. and Shop Carl's products have all my random soft plastics. I wanna put some pegboard down there, and I want to put some pegboard over on this wall, right there, like fill it up. And I wanna move all my hard baits and terminal tackle, different things over on this wall, all my line and different things down here. I need more pegboard, which is a good thing because, well, I've got plenty of pegboard there. I've got two four by four sheets right there and we're gonna cut those up, get them to size, and just get organized. That's really what I like doing on days like this. Just because I'm always going, I'm constantly filming, I'm always on the water, and uh, I always lose things because, well, I just don't know where they are. I throw them somewhere and I just have no clue. Days like today where it's raining and thunderstorming, I encourage everybody, get in your shop, organize your tackle, do a reset. Just reset everything and you'll thank yourself for it afterwards. You guys wanted me to mix it up a little bit. We've been killing the Walmart challenges for a little bit. And uh, I'm just trying to mix it up, you know, throw you guys a little bit into my life um, and some of the random crap that I do on a daily basis because if anything, this is real. This is real life. This is really what happens with uh, guys that fish on YouTube. This is the stuff that we typically don't film and show, but I thought I would because there's probably going to be a giveaway here in a little bit um, because I'm probably going to find tackle that I don't need any more or I've got too much of or something that Catch Co's got that I've got a duplicate of from by some other brand or that Catch Co's is a little bit better in my opinion. Um, I'm going to be giving away some stuff so hang tight and I'll uh, tell you what's in that bundle but let's get started on this little build. I need to measure out some pegboard so let's go. folks so there you go there's one board right there below all my tackle I'm probably gonna put all my terminal and line uh, there so we're gonna we may even have some hard baits I'm not sure exactly how all this is gonna shake out just yet and then we've got this guy right here on the side we can take that sticker off but we've got to shift a bunch of this into these two spots. Make it make sense, but shift them into those two spots and we can free up, I'm hoping, a good portion of this wall and, and it all be my Catch Co. Shop Carl's stuff. That's the plan at least. <laughs>
folks, so I put in a little bit of work and I've got this thing done finally. I'm gonna walk y'all through my process and show you what's up for grabs. Cause I told you there's gonna be a giveaway in this video. Some of the baits, I just don't need anymore. Um, I've got a, a lot of them actually. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you my process and why I wanted to do this. We obviously, we hung up this little area and we hung up this area. Turns out, didn't even need this area, but I've got room to grow, which is a good thing. Here's what I did. I wanted this whole panel right here to be the wall of Catch Co. So we've got 10,000 fish stuff up there. Then we've got the biospawn stuff. We got the plasma tail, exo stick, vile bug. Then we've got some shop carls, like some carls amazing baits. Uh, that's also a very good one right there. The uh, hoss crawl. That one's also a very very good crawl. Um, and then I mean just some more stuff. We've got some Guggen baits, which is actually in collaboration with Catch Co. You know, baby bull shad. We've got basically all Catch Co products are over here. Then we've got my Guggen baits, uh, rattle and nids. Uh, what is that? Dragon drops, Senkos, uh, Bandito bugs in various colors. Then we've got our Rage Tail area. Those are really my go tos, like right here Rage Tail, all of that stuff right there. Then we get over here to the wall of worms and hard baits. So these are all worms. Like anything with a blade. So we've got the buzz bait, spinner baits. I don't really have much spinner baits. They're all right there in the old spinner bait box. Well, we've got some spinner baits, like a rooster tail. That is actually a cup on the front. That's the Terminator shutter bait. It's kind of like a chatter bait, but it doesn't have as much of a noise to it. It just moves water. All my chatter baits, I've even got like a little micro bait, little chatter bait there. I want to do a video on that pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Then we come down to my jigs. I've got a ton, just a ton of jigs right here. I mean, that is a ton of used jigs. I only use the, uh, the Guggen Squad jigs now. Um, those are turned into my favorite jigs. They just have a ton of features. So I've got a ton of leftover jigs there. I probably should throw some of those. You know what? We're gonna throw some of those in the box too. Uh, all topwater hard bait, so a little popper, a spook, jitterbug, and uh, down here are my soft topwaters. Right, up top are my shallow diving crankbaits in various colors. Actually a gift from 256 Bass Fishing. Uh, Gary, um, I still haven't even opened it, man. I need to open that thing and get, get it in the water. Then my medium divers, so we've got, you know, obviously we've got the bandit, some square bills, some different stuff there. That's actually the only trap on the wall right there. Only trap, it's that Jinko rip trap. Uh, I don't have any deep divers on the wall, they're all in a box. I've got some multi-jointed swim baits, the jerk baits, I got several of those. Several of those back here. Pretty much the wall of baits. A lot of people claim to have their own tackle store, but uh, I actually do. And then over here, we've got some terminal tackle as well as my own stuff. So we've got line, there's all my fluoro. If it's over 15 pounds, it's right there. So I've got some 20 pound, then I've got some 14 and under. I've got four options on mono. Um, I used to be heavy into mono. So 15 and over right there, not, not a whole lot. Basically just 14 just 12 and then some eight and then right there i've got my 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 light 30 and under and over 30 on braid so those are those are my line options you're never gonna catch me without line i've always got the line on lock a uh, personal collection of homemade baits so those are my paddle tail swim baits those are my finesse worms creature baits and uh senko you need your terminal hooks so those are anything EWG from smallest to biggest, anything uh, worm hook it right there, smallest to biggest. Here are things that don't have a, uh, a hole punch. And you're probably wondering what all this is. All of this is what I'm gonna give away. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split all of this up into like two piles um, and give those to two different winners. That's right, we're gonna have two winners on this video. But I mean, we got some, I mean, that's that's a pretty good looking little bait right there. Shadalicious by Strike, Clint, by Strike King, three and a half inch swim base. Look at that. You don't think that'll get munched on? That's a nice little like brush hog style bait right there. This one, look, this is a brand new pack of swimming shiners uh, by Strike King. It's four inch paddle tail, KVD Perfect Plastics. I mean, I'm gonna split these up. Some little crawl style baits. Look, that one's brand new, never been opened. 
never been opened. Then I'm gonna split it up as evenly as possible. All you got to do to win this is number one, be subscribed to Be Fishing. Number two, like the video. And number three, get in the comments. And I don't know, just get in the comments. Say something in the comments. You gotta do all three of those things. It just drives, drives the channel. Um, by doing that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate it. I think this is a pretty good haul. Someone's gonna be pretty happy with getting some free baits. I mean, who doesn't love free baits? So that's what the project was today, was to uh, organize all the tackle, get me a catch co wall going. We expanded, we've got more room for later, and uh, we moved all of our terminal tackle right here up front. More importantly, look at the floor. I have a floor, that's the important part. So anyway guys, again, if you enjoyed the video, just a little breakdown of me cleaning up the shop. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of things you can do for your shop too. I mean, I love hanging pegboard, throwing all these baits up there. You know, I've got the nice TV. I've got a nice little man cave set up. There's all of my, my stuff to make the homemade plastics. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully this is giving you some ideas of what to do in your own shop. Uh, keep everything nice and organized looking right um i just get a satisfaction of seeing all of this stuff hung up i mean it's just so beautiful as always hit the like button leave a comment down below again i don't really care what you say in the comment just leave a comment down below because it helps out the channel and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button turn it from red to gray hit the dig dong notifications so you will be notified just by email just drop you an email every time i drop a new video so you can come and peep it first and enter the giveaways, because we do a lot of giveaways on this channel. I mean, a lot, like I'm going broke. Going broke during the corona crisis. I need another stimulus check, not really. I don't send out more stimulus checks. We're already enough in debt, come on guys. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.